In today's video, I'll be showing you guys several handy new Blender add-ons that can definitely enhance your workflow when using Blender. From tools to manipulate cloth, adding stitches, retopology, effects, and a lot others that can be useful. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first add-on we're gonna talk about is called Simply Stitch. And the good news is that it is from the developer of Simply Cloth, Simply Wrap, and Simply Micromash, which are specifically designed for cloth-related tasks. And I think Simply Stitch is self-explanatory. But in a nutshell, the add-on is specifically designed for making all sorts of stitches that you can apply to your cloth objects. And you can do so by following a couple of different ways and methods using a variety of tools and presets at your disposal. And what I like about the add-on is that making stitches is as simple as it gets, because it provides you with the ability to make stitches just by drawing them, using custom curves and lines, or even using custom presets that are included with the Pro version. And by saying all of this, I'm just scratching the surface, because the add-on lets you fully customize the stitching effects like profile, scale distance, thickness, depth offset, and so much more. And if this is not enough, you're always free to use your custom stitches or the various types of stitches that come with the asset library, which is dependent on the version of the add-on you decided to get. Now, let's move on from stitching cloth to something completely different, but equally, if not more useful. And this is with the node effects add-on, which is honestly a dream come true to many Blender artists, myself included. Because this add-on is all about bringing complex customizable procedural shaders that you can apply to your models and get an incredible looking render. And what makes this add-on stand out is that it provides over 35 commonly used procedural shaders, including various effects like gold, moss, lava, gemstone, rusted metal, holograms, and much more. From what I can see, it provides you with a quick and intuitive UI allowing you to just select the effects and add it on top of your material. And you could also access a couple of adjustable parameters within the Anos interface for settings such as strength, detail, emission, scale, seed, in addition to others. But if you're not satisfied with that level of customization, I highly recommend that you dive into the shader editor, where you will get access to the whole package to fine-tune and adjust your nodes using caption scale, roughness, and other stuff. Besides, you can always layer multiple effects using the asset library to connect your nodes in different ways and get creative about it. Now back to modeling, and still with cloth modeling, we have a new add-on called Retopo Planes, which is all about retopologizing your clothes and garments. In a nutshell, Retopo Planes is a new Blender generator powered by geometry nodes and enables you to quickly retopologize your messy garments and clothes, which I think is gonna be useful in many different use cases. For example, this generator can be useful with exported meshes from software such as Marvelous Designer or other 3D cloth design software. And we all know that the meshes that come out of these programs can be very dense and sometimes not very friendly when it comes to topology. So this tool can work by utilizing the UV islands of your mesh to simply separate the garments into flat individual pieces corresponding to the UV island that you essentially created in your cloth software. Now, after doing so, you will be able to access the main features of this tool. And it works by manually selecting the edge of each cloth piece using the main functionality of this tool that detects and produces the outline of your garments. And after doing so for the all separate islands, you can go to the geometry node modifier tab to fully customize and fine tune the topology of your planes. And when I say you can customize your topology, I really mean it, because you're gonna have full control over density, snapping distance scale, seams merge distance, and smooth low poly level. In addition, you can automatically adjust the density by using the crease or sharp density control. So up next, we're gonna talk about a special add-on for scene optimization, which is simply called scene optimization. It is an add-on that includes a bunch of useful tools and features to help you better manage and optimize your scene. And one of the best features of the add-on is the ability to hide objects that are not visible in the camera viewport. 
which can also work for animations and I think this can be really useful for both viewport and rendering performance. And the interesting thing about the add-on is that you can also cancel out the effect at any time without having to worry about messing with the keyframes of your objects. Another feature is the ability to delete certain parts of your mesh that are visible in the camera viewport, which works by using the back face calling. And it is especially effective for high poly models, but don't worry, you can always revert back to your object by canceling the effect. Also using this add-on, you can decimate the objects that are further away from the camera, as well as the ability to detect the poly count of every asset in your project and assigning a certain color to separate the objects depending on how many polygons they have. For example, red being the highest count. Now back again to cloth creation, we have a new add-on called Divine Cut, which is an add-on that is all about quickly creating clothing elements like pants and t-shirts for any type of character. You just have to select your character and then manually move each selected vertice where it belongs, like the chin, neck, shoulder, elbow, and everything else. Now you can just select which type of clothing to generate and simply hit the generate rig button. And what it does is that it creates a couple of adjustable loop cuts that you need to scale and move according to the proportions of your character. The interesting thing is that it gives you a lot of painting tools, which allow you to control the fit of your cloth when it comes to its design and movement. For instance, Using the pinning feature, you can anchor specific areas like cuffs or waistlines, which will prevent unwanted movement during simulations. Then there is bloat, which allows you to adjust the size of different parts. In addition, there is the smooth tool, which helps you iron out any rough spots after applying the shrink wrap modifier. There is also a pressure tool that allows you to maintain structure in selected areas just so your cloth object doesn't flop around. When it comes to design feature, Divine Cut offers convenient options like Bind, which can I think securely attaches the cloth of your character. Also, it automatically binds objects like buttons and zips to the cloth, in addition to many other features. Now moving on to a Blender generator powered by geometry nodes, which is all about making it easier for you to create anything related to text, whether it be cool neon signs, complex text reveal animations, in addition to other stuff. The add-on offers over 20 different high quality text presets for you to start from, which are compacted in a user-friendly interface to help you understand them better. And when I say customization, I really mean it, as you can see, because you can change every little detail about these presets. What I find interesting about the add-on is that you can add complex animations to your custom text by simply using the animation node that comes with this tool. And this node is so versatile, since it is powered by geometry nodes and enables you to get all sorts of effects for things like animating strokes, making the text appear, crack your text, and you could also animate different parameters to get an even more complex result. Last but not least, let's now go to a different add-on which is all about baking textures and materials. So, if you've ever used Blender for texture baking, then you know such a process can be tedious and time-consuming. So we don't want to go through it every time you're trying to bake your textures. And this is why this add-on called Auto Bake exists. Because I think it simplifies and automates the texture baking and the exporting process inside Blender. And the texture types supported include default Blender bake types, multi-resolution data, and input sockets for the principled BSDF node. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.